Howdy, howdy, how y'all doing? My name is Sark, and welcome to Dear Esther. Um, this is an oldie but goodie, apparently. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this game, but being as I came into gaming way, way late, um, I have never played it, so let's get started. Uh, the lighthouse. Okay. Dear Esther, Pretty. I've lost track of how long I've been here and how many visits I have made overall. Certainly the landmarks are now so familiar to me that I have to remind myself to actually see the forms and shapes in front of me. I could stumble blind across these rocks, the edges of these precipices, without fear of missing my step and plummeting down to sea. Besides, I have always considered that if one is to fall, it is critical to keep one's eyes firmly open. So far, so good. I like this dude. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I have a flashlight. Paint can. Very pretty. Alright. It just kind of automatically goes on for me. As far as I know, there's only walking and you can zoom in by clicking the mouse button. That's about all there is to controls. Um, it's supposed to be very much a walking simulator. Just kind of exploring. Uh, uh, my chemistry is super rusty. <laughs> super rusty. Food and goods. Okay. Lots of paint. Was there anything else over on this side? I don't think there was. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Let's walk along the beach real quick here. That's super pretty. Look at that. So there's a lighthouse here. Is that also a lighthouse up there? Guess we will find out. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh man, this looks like some of the beaches where I live. Live in the... Is that trash? It's trash on the beach. I'm gonna pick it up. But I live in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm about... A quarter mile from the water myself it doesn't look quite like this it's all wooded right down to the uh, to the water there and it's very sheltered it's like an inlet so it's not open like this that's beautiful some broken crab pots there Yeah, what I wouldn't give to live close to the water like this. Those islands in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time. Sleeping giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. back here. So pretty. Yeah, this is the, oh, looks like footprints. Yeah, if I drive, um, about 
couple hours due west of me, I come to, there's a series of beaches along the Pacific coast. We've got like first beach, second beach, third beach, Ruby beach, South beach, Long beach. They're all out of order. Um, <laughs> I didn't list them in order, but they, uh, they all look like this are very similar to it with the rocks and tide pools and sea stacks sea stacks like that I have found the ship's manifest crumpled and waterlogged under a stash of paint cans it tells me that along with this present cargo there was a large quantity of antacid yogurt bound for the European market it must have washed out to sea. God knows there are no longer gulls or goats here to eat it. Ooh. Can't go. Can't go further in there. Yeah, it's strange that there aren't any seabirds. I can't jump either. Looks like it's as far as I can go this way. Was that here before? This Fibonacci spiral? Is that what that is? Looks like what that is. Very pretty. Oh, look at these beautiful flowers. Man, they did such a good job. Guess I can't go that way. Just slid back down. Oh well, we'll go back to the lighthouse. I didn't try to get up into the lighthouse. I don't think I can. I don't think I can get up in there. If I can, it would be in here. And I don't think I saw any, um, any stairs or anything. Yeah. Ooh, that's beautiful. I love abandoned places. Such, like, moody melancholy to them that just... Hits me right in the feels. I always, I always love going to like little rundown places, little abandoned areas. I've run across in all of my wandering that I've done. I've run across an awful lot of uh, ghost towns and um, spent some time in a few of them. It's kind of chilling. They're very peaceful. Okay. Can I get up here? I can get up here. All right. Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. <laughs> How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, in all that haunts the ocean, is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. 
The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. All right, now you're getting a little bit bitter, my friend. <laughs> and I don't know, I'd be pretty happy with the cheddar that the... Uh... Okay, that's where I jumped off before. I'd be pretty happy with the, with the chatter of the sea creatures, to be honest. My flashlight doesn't turn on in here. Ooh. Can I get over here? I can't? Okay. Can I get up? Oh, nope. Gotta come down this way. It definitely looks like a storm is kicking up here. Look at that. Alright, let's go up here this time. That rust or lichen on the ground. Oh man, yeah, this is the kind of place where I would just love to live. Reading Donnelly by the weak afternoon sunlight. He landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend. But then, he didn't have my reasons. What are your reasons, my dude? So pretty. Beautiful and very lonely. I love it. I'm such a hermit by nature. This is like... Perfect. Cue the beautiful stringed instruments. When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boats, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. Hmm. My lines are just for this. To keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Okay. So it sounds like he's here for more emotional reasons than health. With these pretty flowers. It's this way. So pretty. They were God-fearing people, those shepherds. There was no love in the relationship. Donnelly tells me that they had one Bible that was passed around in strict rotation. It was stolen by a visiting monk in 1776, two years before the island was abandoned altogether. In the interim, I wonder, did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses, marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible and inhabit its contradictions. Hmm. An interesting way to go about studying something, for sure. This, uh, switch back down. Looks like it does. We got some standing stones for markers. so pretty. There's a spot on one of my walks that looks almost just like this with a little Dear cave. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. 
We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Mm. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life? Are you dead, my friend? What that noise? Coming from this way? I kind of want to check out that cave, but this is cool. I don't know who Paul is. Follow this little rivulet here. Let's go up to... Hello, kitty. Mel, hi. He finally woke up. My cat's been sleeping next to me. I dreamt I stood in the center of the sun and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. Were the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rode to this island in a heart without a bottom, all the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. Wow. He's very... Poetic. What you think, Cody? Huh? Oh. Is that the Bible? That he was talking about earlier? What was that? Well, let's check out this little cave that we have over here. And the boat, too. So, it looks like our dude has deliberately marooned himself, I guess, on this island. This hermit, this seer, this distant historian of bones and old bread, where did he vanish to? Why, asked the farmers, why, asked Jacobson, why bother with your visions at all, if you're just to throw your arms up at the cliff and let it close in behind you and seal you into the belly of the island, a museum Ooh. shut to all but the most devoted? Ooh, what am I seeing here? Come back. So it doesn't let me go underwater for very long, apparently. Ooh. Pretty. That's beautiful. That is again. It's all this paint that they got. So cool. I wouldn't mind 
I wouldn't mind living here. That'd be so awesome. Oh, does this not go anywhere? It's just, just, um... Is there no... There's no other exit in here. It's just a little dead end. Oh, there's one bird. There's a seagull. So it seems like I can't get over to that... That shipwreck yet. Maybe I can go up and around? Up and over the cliff? Pretty music. Okay, we're coming back up to that uh, kind of Stonehenge looking thing up here. is this for? I know that the bobble, or what I'm assuming was the bobble that the guy was talking about earlier, is up here in the middle. Maybe I should go up there. Or go this way. Yeah, there's that bobble. Yeah. Okay, so let's go this way. We haven't been over here yet. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can climb anywhere over here. Pretty though. He said there was livestock still on the island, but I haven't seen anything. Not yet, at least. I mean, we've only been to one little corner. I don't know how big this place is offhand. I mean, we don't have a map or anything. Climb up here, see what's up here. Man, this is so pretty. The attention to detail is really, really incredible. Oh. Can I come down here? Oh. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Huh. Wow, what have we here? Huh. Well, I think this is a good place to hold off on this for now. This is really cool. Um, I don't know where this is going. Yeah, this is really, really neat. I like this so far. 
Um, so thank you kindly for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.